Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, squash bugs have arrived. Um, I was down here a couple days ago and saw the big red squash vine borer moth thing. Uh, the bug that lays the squash vine borers. Um, and I was trying to shoo her away, but I knew as soon as I saw her, uh, she's about an inch long, red, long, skinny, uh, that I was going to have eggs soon. And so I came down. I've been looking under the leaves very diligently for little clusters of eggs. Um, now yellow, little tiny clusters of yellow eggs, those are ladybugs. Uh, but her eggs are supposedly red. Um, I took a picture. I'm going to post it on my Instagram and Facebook of uh, some of the eggs that I found. And I didn't see them in clusters. They were all single eggs and she laid them instead of being under the leaves she actually laid them on the stalks and if you've ever heard me mention about squash vine borers which i deal with every single year but this is actually the first year that i've been proactive about it usually um, i come down and um, my plant is just decimated it's wilted and decimated but look how big these are you guys I have huge squash plants and my summer squash are quickly trying to catch up so I have huge squash plants I have several squashes my summer squash is humongously happy uh, my zucchini has a few they're getting a little better but I have huge squash plants and this is usually the stage I get to and then I'll come down one morning and they will be wilted and look like they've died overnight and it's too late at that stage so I've been super proactive this year so uh, what typically happens if you aren't familiar with squash vine borers now this is different from squash bugs squash bugs uh, look more like a what we call here in East Texas a stink bug they're kind of flat hardened they look like they're wearing like a shield on their back and they're kind of a dark uh, but the squash vine borer is the larva of a certain bug that is like i said about a three quarters to an inch long she's real skinny real red you can tell i mean she looks like an oversized elongated skinny ladybug uh, but she's big um, and what she does is she'll lay her eggs and when they hatch they drill through the stem of your squash plants because the stems and the trunk are hollow like a straw and uh, they will fall all the way to the bottom of your plant inside the trunk and they will bore through the trunk of your plant and it kills your plant um, now there is a way to salvage them uh, which I hope I don't have to show you that this year uh, <laughs> that's my hope but anyhow the way you treat them um, is to diligently look for the eggs which I have been I tried to rub as many of them off as I could but truly even that it only takes one egg uh, to hatch and get into your plant and it's dead so today I'm taking another approach I have let me sit down over here I have my trusty BT with me today and I sprayed it into that. I also have a needle. Um, these were some diabetic insulin needles that I had on hand from a diet that I had done, I don't know, many years ago. And I kept uh, the rest of the needles that were in there. So this is the only one I have. And I am going to inject this BT into my plant, into the base of the trunk, about an inch off of the ground because that's where the larva once they fall all the way down in the tubes that's where they end up it's kind of right there at the base of your plant let me make sure my concoction doesn't spill here um, so I'm going to inject this into the base of my plant and I think you have to do this about every seven days um, until it's far enough in the season where they're not laying eggs anymore um, and I'm hoping that I will be able to salvage my squash and not have a problem this year that's my hope i'm also going to give a good spritz to all the leaves and the stalks uh, which i have been doing consistently uh, for those of you that don't know bt is a bacteria um, this is for organic gardening methods bt bacillus thurgenesis um, it is a bacteria it's really great for caterpillars so this is really great for like your cabbage worms um, anything in the uh, fall or winter your brassicas uh, that may come under some cabbage uh, some worms or caterpillars it's really great for tomato hornworms that's another big one I usually get those July August 
um, on my tomatoes and one tomato hornworm will decimate your entire tomato plant literally overnight in the same way that one egg of these squash vine borers can get to the base of your plant bore right through the center of it and your plant is dead it's over so this is also good for these basically it's good for the bugs that eat your plants and it specifically targets things like caterpillars um, and the squash vine borers in the larval stage they do look like a fat caterpillar um, but what it is is it's a bacteria that paralyzes their digestive system and it basically inhibits them from being able to digest and they die um, pretty quickly from what I hear. So by spraying your plants with this, um, and especially for squash, I hear the best method is to inject it into the plant um, where they're just like bathing in it once they hit that spot. Um, then hopefully it will keep the vine borers from decimating my plants. Um, and maybe I will get to continue to harvest because so far I've only harvested one squash and I have several hanging on each of these bushes that I need to get a little bigger. So let me show you how I'm going to do this. Okay, so hopefully you can see me okay. Um, what I'm going to do is try to suck up as much of this BT as I can get in my syringe. You can see there and i am going to inject it at the base of this plant i hope you can see that right here this is the big stalk that comes up and i'm going to go about an inch and a half up now the inside should be hollow so i'm not going to go all the way through gotta back it out there we go i found the sweet spot because it's allowing me to push it in okay whoops you can see it kind of dribbling out there and that's how i'm gonna do it um i hope that's enough i am going let me try one more just to make sure i got plenty in there because like i said all it takes is one egg to hatch and again can you see i'm going to just inject it right in the side just to the point that yeah it's starting to ooze out okay so when I squeezed that um, into the plant with the syringe um, I've already covered the needle back up um, I noticed that it would not compress and so that told me that I had gone too far into the plant and I was already in like the other side of the stalk but when I backed that needle out just a hair um, it let me start compressing it really easily um, and that tells me that I was inside the hollow part so I did two of those syringes inside of the plant I'm gonna do the rest of them all the way down um, and hopefully that will save my squash this year okay everything has been treated i forgot to mention that bt although is a bacteria that paralyzes uh, caterpillars and the larval stages of the squash uh, vine borers um, it's perfectly safe for humans and animals although i wouldn't want to drink the whole bottle um, technically i could spray my plants and harvest them immediately it has no effect on humans or animals it just targets uh, those caterpillars and the, the bugs that nibble on your plants um, and so that's beneficial for those of us who are trying to salvage what we've got hope that helps we'll see you guys next time bye